cunningly devised fables, not fairy tales, not a story that's been made up and passed down, but what I'm writing to you are the things that my eyes have seen, that my ears have heard, that my hands have handled, that he was the son of God. So this morning we have a testimony today. If you know what it means to have your sins forgiven, if you know what it means to have the blood of Christ applied to your life today, that old things are passed away and all things now are new before you. You're not got some story that's made up and passed down from generation to generation, but I'm here today that we are living a witness. How do I know that he's alive? Because he's alive in me. Because he's alive and he made a difference in my life. And you can look around this congregation. You can see people who are bound up in drugs, messed up in shames of depression and lack and poverty. And you can look around this morning and you can see that there are testimony that the blood of Jesus still can save. That the blood of Jesus can still heal your body today. That the blood of Jesus can still make a difference. And he can come into your life and change you and make you new and make you whole. You know, so why you, you don't have to get so excited about that. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Let me tell you why. Because I know what I used to be. I know where I used to go. I know what I used to do. But thank God because Jesus Christ came into my life. He has changed me. He has transformed me. He has given me a song. There's a snap in my step. There's a song in my heart. This morning I've got peace with God. And that is something that you can have today as well. I'm going to ask them to sing that second verse again and when they get to that chorus if you have a need in your life, listen, first of all there's no greater need than to ask Jesus into your life and to forgive you of your sin the Bible says that if you really believe that, if you confess it with your mouth and believe it in your heart that you'll be a new creation in Christ I would I would dare venture today that there are some people out here today sitting among us who would say, you know what? I'm tired of life the way that it is. My life, I need something. I need a change. I need a peace in my life. There's something missing. Can I tell you what it is? It's Jesus Christ. The book of Hebrews tells us that he's able to save to the other most. That means that you can't be too far gone. You can't be too messed up. You can't be too strung out. You can't be too far gone that the love of Christ can't reach you. But not only did he shed his blood to save us, but he shed his blood to heal us. I said he shed his blood to heal us. To heal our physical bodies. To heal our emotional scars. To heal us from years perhaps of, of abuse and of neglect and abandonment. You can be healed this morning. You can be healed from drug addiction. You can be healed from a physical ailment by the blood of Jesus. That's how we believe this morning. Because that's how the Bible teaches it. And if you will this morning, would you all stand across this building? And if you have a need in your body today. If you have a need in your life and you say, you know, first of all, I need this peace. I need this change. I need this transformation that you're talking about, preacher. I need to know that Jesus is alive. The Bible teaches in the book of Acts that he will present himself with many infallible, undeniable truths in your life if you'll give him the chance. But if you've got a need in your body and you say, I need a touch from God today. I've got a need in my family. I need a touch today. This is how we believe. The book of James says that a call for the elders of the church and we're going to pray with you. And that prayer of faith is going to heal you. That prayer of faith is going to save you today. Amen? Yeah. Amen. I wonder this morning if there's anybody that has a need today. Somebody say, I need Jesus in my life. Somebody says, I need a touch in my body. I want you to step out of where you are right now. Come to this old place today. Amen. So if you have a need today, I want you to step out of where you are right now in Jesus' name. Come on. Right now. Come on. Be a man. Be a woman about it.
about it and say, I've got a need in my body. I've got a need in my family. I need to know. First of all, I need to get saved today. Somebody needs Jesus today. Come on. Look all across this building. Look. Thank you.